Hi everyone, this is John Girardi from Right to Life of Central California, bringing you another in our daily 40 videos for 40 days series. We're doing this throughout 40 Days for Life, which is the international campaign of prayer and presence outside abortion clinics uh, throughout the country, throughout the world, and right here in Fresno. If you want to learn more about our campaign, get in touch with us at Right to Life of Central California at 559-229-2229, especially if you want to join with any of our groups who are out there Monday through Friday outside the Planned Parenthood on Fulton Street. Uh, today, I want to talk a little bit, Just this is occasioned by the nomination of Javier Becerra to be the Secretary of Health and Human Services, about an interesting exchange that Mr. Becerra had with uh, Senator Mitt Romney from Utah. Senator Romney asked Javier Becerra, who has been nominated by Joe Biden to lead the Department of Health and Human Services, about his multiple votes um, in opposition to a piece of legislation to ban the practice of partial birth abortion. Some of you may remember this controversy from the 2000s uh, when Javier Becerra was a member of the House of Representatives. Uh, partial birth abortion was a particularly gruesome, horrific practice of performing late-term abortions by partially delivering the baby, pretty much everything except the baby's head, and then uh, crushing the baby's skull. Um, it, it was this horrific, horrific practice that was about as close to infanticide as you could physically get uh, without being infanticide. Uh, a number of states tried to pass laws to ban the practice. These were struck down as unconstitutional in uh, a Supreme Court decision. Uh, then in 2007, in the second Carhart case, these are cases involving a, a late-term abortionist named Dr. Carhart, um, after Congress passed a federal law to ban the practice, a later Supreme Court decision in 2007 was issued upholding the, the constitutionality of the ban on late-term abortion. Javier Becerra voted against banning late-term abortion on a number of occasions. Mr. Romney asked Javier Becerra why he voted against banning partial birth abortion. And this resulted in Mr. Becerra engaging in kind of a loosey-goosey non-answer to Senator Romney. Um, basically, he sort of dodged the question and said, you know, I know people uh, hold very strong views about this, but I'm sure there's some point where we can face, where we can find common ground. And I guess I don't have some grand point for this other than to say, listen, if you can't find common ground with pro-lifers on the question of partial birth abortion, on the question of a child who is halfway delivered and then being aborted, and a un completely unnecessary procedure that is totally unnecessarily cruel, inhumane, and barbaric, then I guess I question whether there is really any common ground to be found at all. Uh, certainly, Mr. Becerra has been an aggressive proponent of abortion rights in his current position as the Attorney General of the state of California, but uh, we at Right to Life are truly terrified about the prospects of what might happen if a man who is this much of a zealot for abortion rights becomes the secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services overseeing its $1.1 trillion budget and its enormous power to influence health care uh, throughout the country. For Rights to Life of Central California, I'm John Girardi.